Welcome back, future medicos. In our continuing series on deemed universities, we are going to look at one more deemed university from Bhuvaneshwar today. As usual, we will be covering the seat matrix, the fee structure, and finally, we will look at the cutoff ranks for this medical college in the last three years. I hope you all preparing well for the All India Counseling, which is going to start soon. That is on 21st July, the registration is expected to start. So please do your homework, get your list ready, ensure that the colleges you are targeting are within the budget that you can afford. And please ensure that the locations where the colleges are located are comfortable for you and you are willing to go there. So there are two things I advise everyone before you prepare a list of colleges for your choice filling. One, ensure that the college stays within your budget. Don't try to extend your budget too much. This is a commitment for five years and you should have sufficient funds to cover your college fees. Second, make sure that you select only locations where you are 100% sure to go on study. Don't select something and block a seat unnecessarily. Even if you have some kind of like hesitation, think twice before you fill the choices. Of course, the more choices, the better, because the more choices, you have better probability of getting a seat. So don't try to restrict yourself, but have a clear mind while you are filling the choices. So I'm going to talk about Institute of Medical Sciences and some hospital, IMS Bhuvaneshwar which is affiliated to Siksha O Anusandan, which is a deemed to be university based in Bhuvaneshwar. This medical college was established in the year 2007. So it's about 18 years old college. Now, in terms of the seat matrix, this college offers 250 MBBS seats and the seat distribution is approximately 212 seats towards the deemed quota and 38 seats towards the NRI category. If you are interested in this medical college, where should you apply? You should register with MCC, that is Medical Counseling Committee, and participate in the All India Counseling that is starting on 21st July. Is there a necessity to register with the Odisha uh, State Counseling for this medical college? No, there is no necessity for you to register with the State Counseling. All the seats in this particular medical college comes only under the MCC All India Counseling. Please take note that in this video, I'm covering the campus one of IMS and some hospital. There is a campus two, which started last year. I will be covering that medical college in some other video. Now, what is the fees for deemed quota or general category? Last year, it used to charge 19.95 lakhs, but this year, the fees has been increased to 21.95 lakhs per annum, and you have to pay for four and a half years. So if you look at the fee structure of deemed universities, almost across India, most of the deemed universities have increased fees this year. Keep that in mind before you decide the college. So this college charges 21.95 lakhs per annum. So the total cost towards the tuition fees uh, comes to approximately about 99 lakhs to complete the course. In addition to that, of course, you need to pay a caution deposit of 5,000 at the time of admission. Now, what is the hostel fees? There are three options, double bed or double sharing non-AC, triple sharing AC, double sharing AC. And the cost varies somewhere from 75,000 to 1.2 lakhs per year. Then mess, mess is 4,000 rupees per month, let's say 50,000 per year. So the total cost towards hostel and mess comes roughly around 1.25 lakhs to 1.75 lakhs per year. So let's say approximately 6 to 9 lakhs the total cost. So 99 lakhs for the college, hostel and mess about 6 to 9 lakhs. So we are talking roughly around 1.1 crores as the total budget for you to complete MBBS in this college under the general category. Now, in addition to this, of course, the hostel also collects a 5,000 rupees as caution deposit. Now, what is the fees for NRA category? NRA category, there is no change in the fees compared to last year. It is 50,000 US dollars per year. And looking at a conversion rate of 85.86 Indian rupees per US dollar, the total cost comes to approximately 1.93 crores. So if you add the hostel also, we are talking roughly about 
2 crores to 2 crore 5 lakhs to complete MBBS in this college. So under deemed quota, it is roughly 1.1 crores. Under NRA category, it's roughly around 2 to 2.05 crores. Yeah, the caution deposit, which I have already spoken. Now let's look at the cutoff ranks. What was the cutoff rank in terms of All India rank in the last three years? In 2024, round one, it closed at around 2,50,000. Round two went up to 1,97,000. Round three still went up to 1,41,000. Stay round, there is no vacancy, but special stay round, it closed at 3,23,000. But for all prediction purposes, for all your planning purposes, you should not look at the special stay round because you need some luck to get a seat in special stay round. In some years, the cutoff will be lesser. Some years, the seat will not even be available. So we cannot plan based on the special stay round. You should stick to only round one, round two, round three, where the cutoff ranks are much more realistic. The stay round, special stay round are for those who are not getting a seat in round one, round two, round three, or for those candidates who have decided that they are going to repeat NEET as a backup. Then they can keep on trying until the last round, until they get a college which they are interested. But anyone who wants to join MBBS this year, my advice, try to get a seat in the first three rounds and settle down. Now, if you look at the 2023 and 2022 cutoff, as I said, like 2023, there is no seat in special stay round. Even stay round, you look at, right, it is in All India rank 88,000. So waiting for the later rounds is not a good Practice at least for deemed universities. So 2023, it was around 3 lakhs was the closing rank. 2022, it was around 2 lakh 85,000. So you could see uh, in the last three years, the trend is the closing rank is somewhere between 2.5 lakhs to 3 lakhs. If you are in that range, you have a good chance to get this college. Now, this is the need score. Just look at the trend, right? For almost every year, 2022, you see 322. 330, 400, right? The, every round, the score increases. 2023, 358, 372, 550. And stay around, it slightly came down to 522. 2024, also, you could see 469, 505, 547. Leave aside the special stay round. So, once again, as I repeat in every video, if you are interested in deemed universities, give maximum choices in round one. You have a better chance of getting a good college. Now, NRA quota, last year, round one closed at 11,45,000. Round two went up to 4 lakhs. Round three also closed around 4 lakhs. Stay around, there were no vacancies. 2023 and 2022, uh, you could see the cutoff. So, as you could see, round one, it is very easy to get in. Almost like you have a pass mark. And if you are eligible for NRA quota, and if you select this college, most likely you will get it. In round two, round three, you could see that the cutoff goes higher and of course it's not very high but compared to round one it becomes competitive this is the needs closing score now the disclaimer the fee information is collected from the college website and i have presented it for your easier understanding and the cutoff ranks were collected from the mcc website over the last three years once again i kindly request you to check the college website before choice filling and also we are expecting MCC to publish much more detailed fee structure this year for deemed universities. So probably I also request you to check that before you decide on the college. Currently, whatever I am sharing in my videos are for your advanced planning, but the final decision has to be taken only after you verify the fee structure at the college website just before choice filling. Because there is a possibility that the colleges might change the fee structure after I publish the video. So it's always important for you to do the final homework before doing the choice. Thank you. My best wishes.